Hello there, this is Carla. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And what I'm going to be doing today is teaching you guys how to put a hole in your floor. Um, which is quite weird, but still pretty good effect. So, let me import my footage. Okay, so I've got basically very simple footage of basically my living room. And basically I'm going to be placing a hole right here in my floor. So let me just RAM preview that. Um, and as you can see, while I was RAM previewing, I placed two pieces of paper on the floor. And the reason why I've done that is to basically um, give me something to track. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my timeline just where I can see my second track. So, about there. I'm going to trim to comp work area or trim to the comp work area and I'm going to come up to animate and I'm going to track motion and I'm just going to open this track point up here and basically just zoom in and just place that on my track point come down to here click on rotate which is going to give me a second uh, track point and I'm just going to basically move this one over here to my second piece of paper and just zoom out so I can see what I'm doing and basically I'm going to right click new null object uh, which is here I'm going to edit my target make sure null one selected click OK and analyze forward now because you put your pieces of paper on the floor um, or your reference shall I say it's going to give the camera tracker something to work with so you're going to get a much better track so I'm just going to wait for that to track and then we'll bring our hole in as well so that's nearly done nearly done see the track is, is is pretty good because of the piece of paper always try to use a reference whether it's a, a marker pen or something on the object that you want to track okay so that's done the click apply X and Y click OK and we should have our track points in position right now I want to close all this gobbledygook up and I've got a picture of a hole somewhere that I'm going to use which is here I'm going to drop that into my comp uh, which is there I want to bring that on top like so um, it's nothing special and I'm going to click my pen tool and basically I'm just going to mask around the outside of the hole getting all the cracks in it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to feather this out as well So just go around the outside of it, giving it some sort of edge. Like I say, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be there. Um, if you feel like you're not happy with it, then you can sort of bring it all in, so on and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a 3D layer, uh, this uh, hole. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with it and just try and put it into position I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard and I'm just gonna scale that down and sort of bring it to about there maybe rotate it touch like so right about there I'll say then I'm sort of going to bring it over maybe just scale it up just a bit just to give it some depth like so and um, very very simply I'm going to parent that hole with my null object now bring it back and that's tracked quite nicely and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my hole 
F on the keyboard and I'm just going to feather it up just a touch so we've got some sort of definition as you can see um, around the edge of the hull um, as you can see you know ignore the the masking or the the tape measure because um, that's just I think this is sort of like the best hole I'm gonna feather it up just some more like so so we've got the crack here but what you can do guys is you can select your mask back and then you can sort of just sort of play around with your edges really and sort of bring that sort of up you know like so and just play around with the edge um, of your hole like so just to make it look um, a little bit better right so that don't look too bad as you can see it's tracked quite nicely um, so now basically it's a case of um, fixing this bit here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reselect this and then basically I'm just gonna bring that right sort of in and maybe just bring my feathering down just a touch like so take this off just to have a look okay so that don't look too bad as you can see we've got a hole um, now let's do some grading uh, color correction so I'm gonna right click come up to effects color correction uh, curves and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play around with the RGB just a bit just to give it some sort of um, like it's a little bit lighter play around with the so so you can actually see it's it's actually part of the room and not just um, you know something we've created oh that's wrong let's just bring that down just a touch this is the effect we're looking at here if you can just see here just here you can see you know it does look like it's actually part of the floor which is cool actually looks like it so let's just bring that around like so um, the better quality of the hole obviously the better you're gonna get with the actual um, effect itself um, but as you can see it doesn't look too sad this is sort of like messing it up just a just a little bit so um, what you can do if you've got something like um, you know action essentials or something like that which come with debris uh, debris and stuff like that you can sort of add that to uh, your scene so um, let me just remember where I've got all my bits uh, let's go to the documents me action essentials gallery no that's not what I want action with essentials let's go to let's use action essentials too actually um, video thumbnails um, debris uh, debris uh, so, I mean this is all sort of video footage but you know you sort of you know if you go online um, and look up I mean this is literally where I've got the thing let's go debris uh, debris here and then basically you can sort of scroll around um, and just look for say for instance a little bit of rock um, just to place in your scene like for instance this bit here um, you could probably use if I have to save that image you know it's sort of using what you've got if that makes sense using what is available to you um, and you could sort of you know drop that on if you wanted um, make that into a sort of a 3d layer um, let's just uh, rotate that obviously you're gonna have to mask this as well um, and maybe sort of uh, bring this out here let's get our mask tool and maybe sort of bring this around like so just to mask this bit out here maybe sort of I don't know um, sort of link this to here like so F on the keyboard and then just basically feather it out um, sort of put it into sort of like a position you want it in 
um, and just basically play around with the overall look. Um, don't forget to sort of parent it to your null object this. So uh, let's get the whip and just, just parent that to null one. So you know when you sort of move it, um, it's going to be absolutely fine. You know, it's going to be attached to your object. So you can um, color grade this as well, um, or maybe sort of push that sort of into the scene. If you sort of bring this below the rock itself, you can sort of uh, match it up to uh, your scene as you see fit. So that's basically it, guys. That's basically how you do it. Um, let's further that sort of right down. Um, uh, let's click on this and just basically playing around with the object itself and the effects itself just to sort of make it look um, as realistic um, as possible so basically that's it guys um, I hope this has been useful um, and it can help you with um, some of your techniques I mean you can use this outside inside anything you want uh, as always guys thanks for listening um, and I'll see you in the next tutorial ciao ciao guys